In this video, I'm gonna show you three social media hacks that you can implement on your WordPress website to bring you more traffic. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So the first social media hack we're gonna to implement to get more traffic to our website is to set a default image for when our content is shared on Facebook. And the reason we do this is because content that is shared on Facebook with an image gets 39% more clicks than content that does not have an image. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the all-in-one SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded and then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're gonna head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com slash account, make sure you're on the Downloads tab. And then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're going to paste the license key into the License Key field. Click Connect. And that's it, All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you wanna be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're gonna scroll up and click on the dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. So now that you've got All-in-One SEO installed, let's head on over to the AIO SEO menu on the left and click on the link that says Social Networks. And then on the tabs up top, let's make sure we're on the Facebook tab. So this first hack I'm going to show you is how to set an image for when your content is shared on Facebook for every post on your website. So in this first section here, general Facebook settings, if we look at the section that says default post image source, this is where we can set this. So we have a couple of options here. We have default image set below. If I choose that, I can actually pick an image from my image library and that image will be used. The problem with this is it's going to use this same image for every single post. So if I had a post about basketball shoes, it's going to use this image. If I had a post about paying off debt, it's going to use this image. So that's not the best option. Below that, we have featured image, attached image, first image in content, or image from a custom field. I think one of those four would be the best options. The last one is post author image. So if I chose that, it's just gonna use a picture of my face and that's not the best option either. So I'm gonna use featured image. That will use the featured image in the post. So if I have a featured image of red and black basketball shoes on that basketball shoes post, that's what will be shared on Facebook. If you scroll down this page a little bit, there's also a section that says default term image source. What that means is what should be shared when someone shares a category or tag on Facebook, things like that. So that's obviously going to have different selections because there's not a featured image for categories or tags. So we can set a default image or we can use an image from a custom field. So in this case, I think it's best to use a default image. If this were the all-in-one SEO site, it's not. It's just a demo site with a bunch of different content. But if it was, I would use maybe the AIO SEO logo here. So that would be shared every time someone shares a category or tag. So this is a nice and easy social media hack that you can use to get more traffic to your website because if you set these images for your content when it's shared, people will be much more likely to click on that content when it's shared on Facebook. Therefore, you can get more traffic to your website.
The second hack we're going to do is on the same page. If you click on the Twitter tab up top, basically what we're going to do is set up the same thing for Twitter. So you get the same effect on Twitter. So on the Twitter tab, the first setting we see here is enable Twitter card. We want to make sure that toggle switch is in the on position. If it's off, none of these settings are going to take effect. Below that, it says default card type. And the two options are summary or summary with large image. I like the large image, so I'm going to leave that on summary with large image. And then the setting below that is just like we saw in Facebook, default post image source. So if I leave this as attached image, that's where I would set the image here below. I'm not going to do that, but that's where I could set that default image. Again, it's the same problem that we would have with Facebook as it would use the same image for anything I shared on Twitter. And I don't want that. So I'm going to select from the drop down featured image, just like I did with Facebook. And this will use the featured image from my post when this content is shared on Twitter. Just like with Facebook, we have a default term image source that I can set as well. And we can decide whether or not to show the Twitter author. I'm going to leave that set to yes. The next option is about using additional data, whether you want to show who wrote the post and how long it is estimated to take to read. I'm going to leave that disabled. I just want to share the most pertinent information. And then below that is a pretty handy switch here called Use Data from Facebook tab. So if I select yes on that, it will use the same information I set up with my Facebook tab. The home page settings don't apply in this example because I'm using a static home page. So we're going to scroll past that and click the blue button that says save changes. That will save the changes we made to both this Twitter tab and the Facebook tab. And now we've just implemented our second social media hack to get more traffic to our website. The third social media hack we can use to drive more traffic to our website is to associate our social accounts with our WordPress website. This one won't have as immediate an effect as the other two, but it definitely helps with things like authority and trustworthiness. The Google EAT score, expertise, authority, and trustworthiness, this will help with that tremendously. So on the tabs up top, click on the social profiles tab. And this is where we can enter our social profiles. As you can see, I have one entered for Facebook here, facebook.com slash pack. If you are fortunate enough to have the same username across social networks, you can click the checkbox here next to where it says use the same username for multiple social networks. And then I can type in the username here. And it will drop that in for multiple social networks. If you don't have the same username for multiple networks and a lot of people don't, no big deal. You can uncheck that and just type them in manually. When you're done adding your social networks here, Click the blue button that says Save Changes. And by doing this, you are communicating to Google which social networks are associated with this website, which can help over time with your Google EAT score, expertise, authority, and trustworthiness. So that's three social media hacks you can implement on your WordPress website. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video, as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to do an SEO analysis of your competitor's website. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, all-in-one SEO.